so the A1 is uh, installation is done now I have to do the AMS light assembly let me take a break and then I start the AMS light on now let's assemble the AMS light assembly so first we have a AMS light stand body stand and to this to this let's add this assembly as per the instructions And let's see whether this side is this side is one two and this side is three four. Yes, it's correct. Let's assemble. Let's the screw AMS stand screw of AMS stand. So they have given extra. There are four and five screws. Okay, the stand is assembled and uh, there was an extra screw. Let's keep it back. So, AMS light assembly, the first assembly is done. Next, add the rotary spool holder. So, rotary spool holder has uh, different colors. One or three, two or four. Let's open this. This goes for one or three, which is color coded. Here is the one. I hope it goes like this. like this yes <coughs> and this one as you can see if it is not clearly visible so you can see that there is a kind of a rectangular slot so the rectangular slot should match to the match to this rectangular slot so we need to position this same direction to latch it up you can see that there is a rectangular slot the rectangular slot should match to this rectangular slot yes once you match the rectangular slot it will slide it easily so this one has how many sides? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hexagonal. This is kind of an hexagonal. You can see it is kind of an hexagonal. And here it's, it is hexagonal. So I have to match the same thing. Yes. If you match that slot, it slides easily. Same way in this as well. Yes, spool, rotary spool assembly is done. Now, let me open this. Now, let's add the 
tubes insert the PDF E tubes so there are two types one is short and one is long let's see so this tube is for the single spool so single pool spool I am not going to assemble it right now I am going to use the AMS only so keep this single spool tube aside so I hope this will be this and all you can see it is at one one plane these tubes are in single plane it goes here and this side tube you can see is longer tube and the shorter tube so longer tube goes to the goes to this side three and four this three and four push it yes yes I know the shorter ones Okay, so tubes are done. Let me check. Let me open and see how yes, it opens. Yes, yes. So now the screws are done. Let me keep this aside. And one thing is that there is no instructions which tube need to go where to this. I hope it is automatic. There is no numbering for this. Okay, let me go and put this. The longer, longer ones, let me. This longer ones are the extreme end. I hope this is So I have put random wise, this is put, I have inserted random, so I hope it doesn't, this pool will take care, I hope it is automatic and let me keep this, it says keep it nearby and other thing we need to make sure is this clip wire is clipped to this and if it goes extremely down I hope this is correct the position of this can be moved up and down so let me position be like this let me keep it backwards I hope this is fine So this one is done. Now let's add the cable. Plug AMS light. So AMS light cable is here, which is four pin. Let me move this everything aside. this and this plug yes 
<coughs> so I'm going to insert to the one of the slot. This goes to MS light. And now let's plug the power cord. This is a power cord what I got. Let's open this protective cover and open this. and this is off let me on it so now let's uh, keep this back I'm going to need to off the my light this light I need to remove so I need to remove this socket and then add it afterwards let me rotate this let me unclutter these cables here yeah the cable is perfectly fine and the assembly is done please leave safety margin yeah it is there is nothing in the front there is nothing in the back Yes, now let me on this and uh, start doing the setup. Let me remove my ring light. Let me remove my ring light and attach the power cord there. The repeater power cord to this plug socket. Let me do that. 